Woo-wee. All right, all right. What's going on, party people? This your man, Griff. So as the title said, this is special message just for, well, I mean, not really just for, but primarily for the, um, what did I say? The people who do general notary work, okay? We're primarily just doing general notary work. All right. <laughs> Over the last couple of months, um, I've been getting a lot more inquiries from notaries who primarily only do general notary work or the bulk of it's there, you know, and all of that, asking about, you know, why I don't talk about it. And I did a video about this recently. And one of the things that I've been doing is trying to find out what it is that you want to know about. Because I keep getting sort of jumped on about it and I'm like, okay, well, what do you really want to know? And the only thing that I've gotten back is basically, y'all just want to know about marketing, okay? Y'all know my stance on marketing. I don't really get into the marketing aspect. Um, I don't know where you live at. I don't know what your demographics are, all of that. But something else came to mind today. I was helping out one of my channel members um, come to find out that some people are looking at general notary work, quote unquote, which technically and legally, there's no such thing as general notary work and loan closings as two separate entities like you would notarize different. OK, that some people may think that there's some type of different notarization that's required for general notary work versus loan closings or state planning or whatever. In other words, non mortgage documents. The notarial area for your state should be the same. And I will say should because just in case there's this happen chance that it might be different, but it's notarizing the signatures on the document. So some people apparently have taken when they hear me talk about loan closings and the issues that's going on with that, that it doesn't apply with general notary they want specifically like how to notarize a document that's a will power of attorney that's not a mortgage but the steps that we have to do for notarization of a signature on a non-mortgage document is the same as the mortgage document the notarial area is the same we are verifying id where um making sure that they are who they say they are we're logging them in the book there's nothing different so if y'all can articulate to me which can help me to help you out as to what it is that you're thinking that is mildly drastically different this my turn mildly drastically or different than um between the two help that'll help me out to help you because it really it, it, i'm starting to see and i'm and I'm very thankful for the young lady opening up and telling, you know, sharing that with me, her thoughts, you know, but it's like now people are looking at, I guess, there's a difference or a different way to notarize or the notarial certificates are different and they're not. Now, well, there are notarial certificates that require a venue that has a statement that has your signature, all of that. That's the same. How they look. As y'all seen, it could be just as different, but there's not like a general notary notarial certificate and a loan closing notarial certificate. Um, none of that, you know. Now, I will say this. One of the things that I've come across repeatedly, and this doesn't have anything, this can be with loan closings as well as non-mortgage related documents. A lot of you got a lot going on and you're all over the place up in here I'm not saying you're crazy not saying you don't you're not smart or intelligent what i'm saying is you got your focus on too many different things and when it comes to just focusing on this it's like okay i just need an answer that's how a lot of folk are right now i just need an answer i don't i ain't got time to try to figure out why it's this way just give me the answer do i do this do i do that do i not do this i mean this is what i'm getting not from the lady who called me today not from her but for many others, this is what I've gotten over the years, and it's taken me a while to really understand what the heck is going on. And a lot of people recently have been sharing, like, well, you know, I just got this going on. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. 
you know, they don't give me specifics, but I'm just saying, you know, like I'm trying to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm about to retire. I'm trying to get that together. I'm taking care of my grandkids. I got this going on. Um, you know, I might be doing this business. I might be moving to another state. You know, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of moving pieces in an individual life. And what I'm seeing is that the more moving pieces that you have going on, the harder it is for you to focus on things. And especially, oh, what was that? Especially when it comes to the loan closings and understanding the basics of it, which is how to properly notarize the signature. So what it is, what's going on in my opinion, is that because you got all these things going on in your mindset, and then somebody's trying to tell you, or not even trying to, they're telling you that you have to learn the documents and understand those. You don't have enough space up there to retain that information at the moment because you got too many other things. You're prioritizing the thoughts in your mind. It's like at this, during the Super Bowl last night, they had a commercial for Uber Eats and they was talking about something about basically remember Uber Eats to get food and stuff like that but they said in order to remember uber eats you got to put put something else out of your mind and that's really what's happening now with some of y'all you're going to have to figure out what can you keep in your mind and what can't you because you're going to have to make space for understanding and learning the notary stuff but what is it that you got to learn and understand how to properly notarize the signature fill out those notarial certificates understand the difference between an acknowledgement and a jurat you see what i'm saying that's the stuff that you have to know all these other intricate things you don't need to know you don't need to verify who wrote the document you don't need to verify who's receiving the document all you got to do is deal with the person that's in front of you and when you do that you're doing your job but if you start getting into other aspects then that becomes a problem for you because now you're trying to remember all of these various little steps in there that are not applicable to what you truly have to do. So, if you can share with me, I'm saying it again, specifically, what do you want to hear from me or from anybody? I don't care who it is, about general notary. What is it that you want? Because you can't just say, I want to know about general notary work. Talk about it more. Talk about what? Outside of marketing, okay? Outside of marketing. Marketing, y'all can figure that out. I'm, I'm just being real. You, you really can. You can figure out marketing. You know, you know. Simply put, general notary work is defined as dot, dot, dot. And where would you see that type of work at? Dot, dot, dot. So that means you got to dot 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 advertise over dot 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 there that's how simple it is to me if i'm a beautician if i'm a barber if i do car wash detailing and all of that <clears throat> i need to go where people got dirty cars i need to go where people got messed up hair and i need to let them know i can take care of those things i'm a food truck where do i go a place where people are hungry it's that simple marketing can be that simple but if you're looking for marketing tips that will guarantee that every single time somebody sees your product, sees what you have, it, it's instant business, I can't give you that. If you're trying to find a way to always rank at the top of Google, I don't get into that, okay? So if that's the idea of marketing, how to get everybody to give you reviews so you can look good on it, that I don't get into that don't even ask but if you want to understand how to do your job as a notary that's where I can help you at you want to figure out all that marketing stuff you got to talk to those other individuals they're out there they're marketing they're marketing to you that they can teach you how to market so you're going to have to spend your money with them and if you don't have the money to spend with them because they're not going to give you too many discounts and cut rates and refunds then you got to learn to figure it out for yourself and if you're not willing to learn to figure it out for yourself then most definitely, and this is regardless of general notary or loan club, whatever business you're in, you're going to have to decide a different um, entrepreneur career path that doesn't require you to do a whole bunch of marketing or 
the marketing aspect is already laid out and all you got to do is plug and play and that's what a lot of people really want to just plug it in plug themselves into it and go and that's not notary okay so got any other questions comments concerns feel free to hit me up but um i i do have a better understanding of what's going on with the general notary it's no different your responsibilities are not different if you think they are then please articulate to me why do you think what you're supposed to do with non-mortgage documents is different from what you do with um you know mortgage documents and i'm not talking about explaining or going over briefly shit. No, i'm not talking about that i'm talking about what you supposed to be doing per your state as a notary if you can articulate that to me what the differences are that helps me to help you all right if you want my help all right talk to you later peace